Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I make the bubble nail liquid. This was, I believe it was created originally by Vincent Nails on Instagram. He has a video on how to do it and uh, and I'm going to give you some tips on things to do if it starts going south for you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put one drop of white gel polish and this is soak off gel polish and you can use any brand okay um, now I tried to figure out ratios I tried so many different things and then I figured out that really doesn't have a lot to do with it and I messed it up along the way and then I figured how to fix it so I learned a lot by trial and error okay so I'm just gonna Put a little bit of acetone in there. Okay, just a little more. All right, so then I'm gonna mix it up. Okay. All right, so that's kind of watery. So you need a certain consistency. This bottle originally contained cuticle oil in it. I've had it for a few years. I got it on eBay. But the oil I have in here is just regular um, Dollar Tree oil from Bolero. And you can use that. You can use baby oil. It has to be an oil that's not too um, too thick okay so I'm getting some bubbles there notice I did not shake it up too much I didn't stir it up too much I didn't shake it up too much and I'll, I'll tell you what happens if you overdo it and what to do to fix it okay so we have that now it's too white so I'm gonna add just some regular soak off top gel it doesn't have to be necessarily the um, no wipe okay that might be too much and if it is I'll show you how to fix it okay now all right so the main thing about this is getting the bubble effect. So what I learned, um, one of the things I learned from trying this so much is if you keep stirring it and stirring it and mixing it and stirring it, what happens is you mix it too much and it's like when you shake up a lava lamp, the oil breaks up into a lot of tiny little bubbles so that's the same thing that happens here if you break down your oil too much you're not going to get the big bubbles that you want and if you do that what you should do is set it aside for 15 20 minutes you might want to put a little bit more acetone in it Stir it up just a little bit and then try it again. Okay, so that still looks too thick to me. So I'm just gonna add one more drop of oil and I'm gonna stir that up. And I think that might be a good consistency. You don't wanna overdo it because then what happens is it's that effect like when you shake up a lava lamp. You have too many, the bubbles are too small and you don't have the same effect. Okay. Now this could be thicker. And if you want it to be thicker, you can add a little bit more clear top coat, but I'm gonna keep it like this 
and the next thing you do is you have to cure it really really well okay so I'm gonna do that okay, so while that's curing I'm gonna show you a couple that I worked on on the side and I don't have the ink gels or to me it's like alcohol inks but so I don't have those so I achieved the same effect by using alcohol inks okay I'll just show you a couple that I made and I'll show you how to do that in a minute you can also use markers um, this one let's see isn't that pretty um, this one you can't really see this one as well on a camera as in person but it's got some blue green going on different shades of teal and aqua it's really pretty and the background is a royal blue and this color is Admiral by Madame Glam this one I left the white foam but I added some glitter on top of it and then I top coat it okay so the next step is you're gonna take a wipe now he wipes it off with acetone on the video you can do it with acetone or alcohol I'm gonna do it with acetone right now okay so now it's wiped down and it's kind of matte All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is apply some color to this. Okay, so I'm gonna take some alcohol ink and I'm going to put some on the tip of my dabber because I don't wanna spill it out and waste it. Pour it out and I'm gonna dab it. Dab some on there. Okay, uh, let's see what other colors I'm going to use. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take some of this blue and this is a pretty uh, cobalt blue. Or royal blue and I also made this one have to saturate that a little better do some pink and this is flamingo pink and this is alcohol ink okay all right so I'm gonna Set that aside and let it dry. You're gonna take your brush. You're gonna put it in there. You're gonna pick up those bubbles and apply them to your nail.
okay so it's it's really um, once you figure out that the whole thing is the oil separating from whatever it's mixed with is what is going to give you that effect you don't need to use monomer uh, you don't need to use anything else and every single one is going to be completely different you can put a matte top coat over that you can put a glossy top coat over it and you're going to float it over that nail and you're not going to brush it too many times see how pretty that is okay so that's it guys i hope um that was helpful to you guys and as i said if you overdo it with your um mixing all you have to do is let it sit for a while and then you might need to add a little bit more acetone to it and do it again mix it up just a little bit and then use it don't over mix it again so Hope that's helpful to you guys, and thanks for tuning in. Take care, everyone. God bless, and I'll see you on the next one.